Hello, I'm Christy with Green Living Off Grid, and today I'm going to teach you how to take just a few supplies like this clamp light, a few PVC parts, and a grow bin like this modular stacker, four gallon tote. We're going to turn this into a grow bin where you can start your seeds in like an egg carton, a plastic egg carton you have around. We can start seeds for our garden or hydroponics. Or we can grow microgreens in a microgreens tray you get on Amazon. Or, like I was showing you a minute ago, you can make your own tray with just a few PVC fittings and some screening. So let's get started. Okay, for our first project, we're going to put together this seed starter tray. And we're going to use this egg carton. I took the label off. This is going to serve as a humidity cover so that we, as the seeds start we're gonna you could put soil in here if you want or I'm gonna be using the rock wall cubes for hydroponics but if you want to plant some in the garden you might want to get it, some kind of sponge that you can put in here that could be planted into the garden or soil will work but for my hydroponics I'm going to be using the rock wall cubes and they come in sheets like this you just cut them out and then I soak them a little bit in a bucket with a little bit of water and then uh, once they're all soaked we can plant our seeds in them. Now something to know about the Rockwell cubes is they're made out of the same type of material that fiberglass is made out of so it tends to prickle your fingers if you don't have gloves. So I use gloves when I cut it out. Here you can see I've planted all my seeds That'll take about a week to two weeks to sprout and those seedlings to grow. You can see I put a little bit of water in the bottom to kind of keep them moist. I recommend that you get yourself a timer that you can plug in that'll run 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And then also I recommend that you pick up the daylight spectrum light bulbs. And then I recommend for you to use the clamp light that it's an 8 inch clamp light that will accommodate these 100 watt bulbs. It'll take a couple weeks for these to sprout and then we'll be ready to plant them. Now for the second project, we're going to create a microgreens tray. You can use this one here on Amazon. And I just want to point out, in this 4 gallon modular stacker, there is no extra play. You can just barely fit this down. It fits nice and snug in the base. And there's a little bit of play from left to right, but it is a tight fit. So let me give you the dimensions in case you can't find the four gallon modular stackers and you got to go with a different bin. The length of the bin that I use is 14 inches from left to right. And then the width of the bin, this is where it's a tight fit. Now, of course, the width up above is going to be a little bit larger. It's about 11 and a half inches on the upper portion, but it narrows towards the bottom. So you got to make sure that it clears at the bottom, let me go ahead and show you that. The width at the very bottom is, as you can see, nine, almost, nine and a half inches. I would not go any smaller than that. When you want it completely dark, obviously your clamp light will be off. And you can easily set the lid of the bin over top. You'll have to take the clamp light off. It's not that hard. And just let it grow in the dark for just a few days until it's starting, they're starting to stand up. Now for the Amazon tray, they want us to soak the seeds overnight. And as you can see, they've swelled up nicely. Planted in our little planter for the microgreens tray. Alright, now we're going to put the humidity dome on. Now, I wanted to point out a way that you can build your own tray for your own system. I built one for this, but you can use different dimensions. You can make this fit whatever size bin you've got. And the way I set this up, I have a three quarter inch PVC with three quarter inch elbows that I glue together as the base tray. And then I put my water right up to the edges right here. And then I put this tray over top. Same thing. I have the three quarter inch PVC with the elbows. And the only difference is I also zip tied in a 
screen netting that I put together and then was able to attach it so that it's just basically level um, at the base of the tray so that I could put water in here and not fully submerge my seeds. Now, what I also do when I grow with this system is I use water to kind of moisten coca core. Coca core comes like in a block like this and you're going to want to kind of break it up and peel it. It's almost like a a dirt consistency, but it isn't. It is uh, fibrous, so it's definitely good for hydroponics. Check our water level. It's just starting to barely touch the bottom. We'll put a little bit more in. Because then we're going to add our coca core to create a nice little soil-like fibrous base for our seeds. Just a little bit more coca core in the middle to make that base just right damp without being too wet. Now I don't have to soak these because the moisture in the coca core is going to give them just the right moisture that they need to sprout. So so here we have our three projects. Our seeds started here in this first tray with the egg carton. We've got our microgreens in the Amazon tray and in our homemade tray. And let's just see how they grow. Well, here it's been a few days, I'd say about three, four days since I started these seeds. And I have a few seedlings sprouting up. You'll notice though that some of these have dried up. They've already used up the water. It's not completely dry, but there's a little bit of dampness there at the bottom. But I'm gonna have to wash these and make sure that they, they stay moist. Looking good so far. I'm gonna let them sprout a few more days, maybe another week before I plant them into my hydroponic setup. Now over here, I have had these guys in the dark and you can see in this sprout tray, they've started to come up looking for light. They're kind of yellow, but they're starting to green up. I just stuck the light on today and they're already starting to green up a little bit from putting the light on, but this is about the right height that you want them at. It's about, you know, two or three inches. And then when they green up, they're ready to pick and eat. That's the Amazon tray. This is my own homemade tray right here with the PVC fittings and the cocoa core. And you can see how the cocoa core kind of kept everything moist and they're growing up nicely. Well, look at this. Looks like our plants have greened up quite a bit. Look at our homegrown tray. Beautiful. To harvest these, all you have to do is just basically cut them off at the root base right there. It's really easy. And then you could discard the coca core and start over. Here's the Amazon tray. It's doing pretty well, too. They grew pretty great. I am noticing a little bit of leaning towards the light in some places. But overall, they're doing all right. And then, of course, our little seedling tray. Those seedlings have come up, most of them. There's a few that haven't quite sprouted or grown very much yet but there are several here that we can plant into our main growing system so there it is this is how our little grow project turned out i'm pretty pleased with it and i think this is going to work out great to use these little modular stacker growth systems to create our seedlings and our microgreens mm -hmm.